love Global Star. I just love them. If you love them, this might be the video for you. Oh, this feels good. And this is the video I've been wanting to make about Global Star for a while. Like I've been, guys, if you have been following my channel and you've been with me, we've been talking about something like this happening. And more and more things are happening like this with Global Star, but this is the big one right here. I really don't know what to talk about first with Global Star. You know, I want to talk about contracts, but let's talk about the news that's pop here. If you haven't heard, right now, Global Star has been in the conversation with B. Riley Institution, which is obviously one of the hedgy funds out there. So, this is is big news and what they have said the analyst firm started coverage with a buy rating and get this a price range of three dollars and 25 cents kind of weird price there but suggesting the potential for well over 200 percent growth in the stock over the next year they said just over a year so this is really big news that they're saying just in a year's time this is this is quite the risky thing to say but they did it and this is great but like i've been saying in my videos about global star i always say this is that global star is not only killing it this year they're going bananas with all these new contracts partnerships if you've been following global star then they have been killing it this year and that's why the stock's been staying alive but we've had all these other hedge funds all these other analysts all these just terrible terrible like news articles like every week just ripping global star apart saying it's gonna go back to 30 cents it's gonna go back to 50 cents we have literally been reading that for the last i don't know what year about global star that it's gonna fall back down that you know just get out of this run for the hills and as always those articles are wrong because they are trying to scare off investors and i wonder why because let's see most of those hedge funds that are writing that article have puts against Global Star. Hmm, yeah, I think they do. So right now we're seeing Global Star has actually been doing amazing. And this is why I always say, don't put Global Star down. They have great technology. They're already a company that has their bread and butter, what they do. And think what the future is gonna look like. Right now we're going into this next sector with space, travel, space in general. Technology is gonna be even more advanced obviously and global star is just going to fit right into that little pocket right there so this is you know this is something to really think about here if you do not invest in global star i'm not a financial advisor i'm just a guy who obsesses over stocks and makes content and loves global star and been here since the 30 cent range and if you got in right then or you're just now getting in man it looks like it's going to get a lot better especially for this b riley to come out and put their neck out there like this this is a this is a pretty big thing to say so today global star hit around a dollar 65 bid price for that and that is like that's fantastic that is really good so if you've been here for a while you you know that those are really good numbers for global star so honestly what do i see here for the future of Global Star. I've always said, you know, I think Global Star is going to continue to go up because Global Star has so many new investors in it. It's it's a really popular stock right now. It went from a really popular penny stock to now it's in the dollar, almost two dollar range. So it's a little more expensive to play around with, but it's still a very hot stock. But what I think is going to happen here, I would not be surprised to see Global Star obviously come down off this, you know, big buy we've had today and it's probably going to hit like around a dollar 30 again here. But the new playground could be around a dollar 30, dollar 60 in that range playing up and down. And then of course we'll have our bad days where you know we just plummet to a dollar 20. But with Riley saying this, this is really big and this is really going to pump the stock up pretty fast. So we could see some fast movement in this and this obviously this could be a hype trend this could be a hype game they could obviously you know trying to get something out of global star right now and you know it's it's obviously working and it's going to continue to work this might be a little bit of a, like a elon musk quote here they're doing but i do think global star is undervalued for what they serve with technology and what they've continued to do uh year in year out is just stay alive have their bread and butter and this year alone they've made so many new contracts i mean i think they've, they're over 10 contracts at this point just for this year alone so what i wanted to say about call options on global star so obviously I, I have shares of Global Star. I have around like 400 shares of Global Star, around like, I think they're like 30 cents. And then I also have contracts on Global Star. And, you know, it's funny, even last week, I was looking at contracts on Global Star. I was looking way out to what I could possibly buy new contracts with Global Star because I was like, you know, Global Star is being, it's really healthy right now. It's, it's staying up. It's doing really good when a lot of other things are falling. And Global Star, like I said, is just, it's a really popular stock now. A lot of people have it. A lot of people are excited about it because 
It kind of is a space stock. I mean, I think we can say that. I think that's pretty safe to say. But it's a very affordable, it's the poor man's, you know, stock that could turn into something. There's plenty of people in the history that have become millionaires over growth stocks like Global Star. So when it comes to buying options on Global Star, I look way into the future and I have not talked about options a lot on this channel because you know when you talk about options you kind of have to explain a lot of people do it and a lot of people don't either way whatever you do that's fine you are your own investor and you do what you want to do obviously I'm not buying puts on global star because I believe global star is going to continue to rise and go up in the near future but what I want to say is obviously you do what you want to do you are your own investor but i think it would be kind of safe to say right now you know looking into the future you know next year into the future so obviously we just read what riley said riley the financials just said now we know what global star has already done and we know what they're continuing to do and we know that they are a very popular stock so here is my thinking what i'm doing and this is what i'm doing so i want just to relay this to you so with all this information i have i almost feel like i have a little bit of this cheat code right now i see the calls that are pretty much in the money as they say for next year for global star being around a three dollar stock even a two dollar stock there are still two dollar ranges for next year as this continues to go up those will disappear a little more and they're going to get more expensive so this is why i've made the decision to buy more because i expect global star to start rising a little more i expect it to take on new contracts new you know with this is such positive news that we're reading right now that there's going to be a lot more going on with global star in the next few months we're going to see a lot more you know a, a lot more news and now all these other like hedge fund you know writers and these analyst writers it's going to be very interesting how they respond to this article right here i'm very curious to see what they say about this because a lot like i said a lot of them have just been demolishing global star even though global star has been doing great and now granted global star is a debt company they haven't they're not out of debt and they probably won't be a debt-free company for at least a few more years if they continue to make this pattern and continue to go up get more contracts and if their stock can get anywhere to four to five dollars and they start doing stock offerings they start taking that money out paying off debt you know putting it back in the company we'll start to see things like that i've talked about that a lot in the past but these are positive things that we could start to see and it's going to be a bumpy ride for you as an investor but you know these are things that are really going to help global star to you know get to that you know double digit number way in the future unless like Elon Musk started talking about Global Star or the Reddit community got a hold of Global Star that's the only way this would really get somewhere like that so friends this is the news with Global Star if you are an investor in Global Star be so excited <laughs> this is great news this is this is fantastic news it really is and if you know for me as an investor in Global Star and then for me as a content creator that has a YouTube channel and when I see something that I have been pushing so hard for the past you know a year and then uh, you know like I, whatever how long I've had this channel now like six months whatever it is you know this is this is great for me and if you have invested in this even like when it was under a dollar um, you know congratulations this is big news and things are gonna continue to happen here with Global Star so be very excited this is the night where you you know toast the champagne to bigger things to come but friends with all that said remember be positive be you take time to invest in your future it is so important and this might be the one to do it but friends i will talk to you very soon my friends honest, honest. Honest.